Hey there, so this is an example of probably one of the harder overlapping triangle uh, problems and I wanted to work one out for you so that way you have it at home, you're able to review it and uh, able to, to write all the, whatever you want on it, take your notes, all that fun stuff. So the first thing we need to do is start out with our statement and our reason chart. So obviously I'm going to start off with the givens. Angle Z is congruent to angle C. That's a given. Uh, FZ is congruent to WC. That's a horrible C. Okay. And then uh, AR uh, bisects bisects FA, angle FA. So these are all my givens. Right? And our goal here is to prove a median. So the first thing I'm going to do is label all the stuff that we were told. We're told these things. Um, and that's pretty much it. I can't label the whole bisect part yet until I actually utilize it. So I'm not going to do that. Um, so the big thing here, and I think the tricky part of this problem, is trying to figure out if we're talking about triangle uh, FAZ and triangle WAC, it's not really an immediate way for us to prove the, their congruence. However, we need to think about it looking at the entire big triangle. So if we're looking at A, Z, C, if I know that Z and C are congruent angles, then what kind of triangle is A, Z, C? Well, it's going to be an isosceles triangle. So if it's an isosceles triangle, I know that A, Z has to be congruent to A, C. So we can say that segment ZA has to be congruent to segment AC by the converse of the base angle theorem. Base angle theorem. I'm going to say converse of base angle. OK, so from there, that tells us that these segments are congruent. So now I can say that triangle ZAF has to be congruent to triangle uh, CAW. CAW via SAS. So now I know uh, that's okay. Now I know that those two triangles are congruent, which means I'm able to start talking about their corresponding parts. Our goal here is to figure out the ARs and medians. So I have to prove something regarding triangles uh, FAR and triangles RA. So as long as I can prove those, then we're good to go. Um, and the way I'm going to start proving those is by saying that these two angles are congruent. So if I say that those two angles are congruent, then that means um, I can, oh, actually, I don't even have to do that. I'm going to state that the side lengths are congruent, because that's much quicker. I'm going to say that AF, segment AF, has to be congruent to segment AW by CPCTC. So these segments are congruent to that segment, which is great um, for us. And from there, I can now start to use my bisector. So if we say that AR bisects angle FAW, then that means that angle FAR, oops, I have to extend it, angle FAR is going to be congruent to angle uh, war, angle war. And that is a definition, definition of angle bisector. Okay, so now we've said these two are congruent to that too, which is great because now I have a side length and an angle, and I have that other side length, your favorite property and my favorite property, which says that AR is congruent to itself. 
by the reflexive property. One, two, three, four hashes. Which means we can use SAS again. So we're just double the SAS here. Just all sorts of SAS. So we're going to say triangle far is congruent to triangle war by SAS, which is great. So if I have far is congruent to war, then I'm able to say, and the reason I want to do that is I need to prove R is a midpoint. So if I'm proving R is a midpoint, I can say that FW, or not FW, FR is congruent to RW by CPCC. So now that I proved, I don't even, there's just so many hashes there. Okay. Now that I proved that those two segments are uh, congruent, I can say that R is a, that's weird that it connected that, R is a midpoint by the definition of midpoints, definition of a midpoint. Because if we have a point that bisects a line, and I'm, I'm kind of ish skipping the step of that the entire line segment is equal to the two, so we can say the two, it's equal to half. We're not doing that. We're just saying R is a midpoint, uh, which means that AR is a median. Or you could say congruent to median, however you want to say it. AR is a median. And that's definition of a median. Because a median has to be a midpoint of the opposing side in a vertex. So we satisfy that by saying that R is a midpoint. R is a midpoint. And it's connected to A. There you go, guys. That's probably one of the harder proofs. Um, mostly the big part that I think is a little bit confusing is the converse of base angle. There's more than one way to prove this, but this is probably the quickest. Um, there you go. All right. Thank you. And make sure you took notes on that. If you didn't rewatch it and take all the notes, good job.